How's it going boys? TKC here and welcome back to a brand new review for you guys. And in this one, we are going to cover the brand new EP off Disciple Records, Lumina by Skybreak. Skybreak is one of the largest up and comers in the color based scene combining really euphoric and heavenly melodies with the strong, harsh nature of modern-day rhythm dubstep. Combining these two forces, Skybreak has managed to make a name for himself and gathered support from the likes of William Black, Chime, and Oliver's doing official remixes for all three. Amongst the likes of these official remixes, Skybreak has also released original works on a plethora of labels with the likes of Disciple and Rushdown most notably being featured on the Disciple Afterlife Volume 1 compilation with his track Waterfall. It's a very massive jump in spotlight for him, and is evidently a pretty big sign of the color base and future rhythm trend currently gaining ground at the moment. In summary, with Lumina, Skybreak blends elements from rhythm dubstep, melodic dubstep, and even jazz, and continues to build off his very strong resume with this main label release. For new viewers to my channel, I'll quickly summarize how I just do my reviews. I go over all the tracks one by one before finally summarizing the entire project based off my three main criteria, which is innovation, sound, and execution. With all of that out of the way, let's jump right into the tracks. The album kicks off with the opening track, Wildfire featuring Millennial Trash. The verses here are just beautifully crafted, with tons of backing elements, like the reverb keys that just create a very heavenly experience for the listener. The percussion is perfectly mixed, and despite being more of a backing element to the vocals, has just the the right amount of impact to keep things moving. However, one of my favorite moments of the entire EP comes during the second verse, where these extremely euphoric synthwave-esque synths present themselves and create such a chill-inducing moment that just has me hyped up for drop three. Oh, so good, man. So good! However, one nitpick I have is I'm not too crazy about the vocal selection here. I feel Millennial Trash's darker, grungier vocals collide a little bit with the very light nature that the verses aim for. In terms of drops, the drops are definitely the darkest of the bunch on the EP. However, the color presented with the main lead has these drops fitting in with the project quite well. The drops are highlighted by fluttering leads that add a very nice color aspect, Incredible fills that add a nice contrast to the leads, hard-hitting basses, and extremely well-chosen percussion that makes for just some really solid-sounding drops. To summarize, a great track here from Skybreak, and I think starting darker is the best way he could have opened this EP. With the title track, Lumina builds off what Wildfire started, however introducing more melodic elements and chill-inducing moments. The track kicks off with, again, just some absolutely gorgeous introductions that are highlighted by highly reverberated chimes and keys that create a very heavenly ethereal feel. The interlude doesn't change that much from the introduction, however is highlighted by a very jazz influenced piano section that really slows things down in an amazing way before heading into drop 2. As for the drops, these are probably some of my favorite on the EP. Drop 1 goes for a very similar vibe as Wildfire, with the fluttering leads being very forward at the front of the mix in the first half, while moving more towards a bass heavy approach in the second half, all in tandem with some really solid percussion. While the fills and in-between moments during the drops aren't as strong as Wildfire, the interjection of the pure melodic synth measures are a massive highlight for me and add a nice contrast with the drops. Drop 2 is one of my favorite drops this EP presents, with gorgeous melodic synths, the aforementioned fluttering leads, and the duality of the darker second and fourth measures just blends incredibly, making for a very memorable drop in the grand scheme of color, bass, and even melodic dubstep. Oh. 
follow that out with a very nice outro and you have an instant playlist ad and one I see myself returning to quite often. The EP then goes into its third track, River Spirit. I think this is probably the weakest track off the EP despite the fact that this is one I still actually heavily enjoy. The intro and interlude present a very similar vibe to Lumina with this very airy ethereal sound that honestly never gets old in my opinion. I'm having trouble accurately describing this, but if I can put it into words, brings forward influences that remind me of a combination of this interesting, unique video game-esque sound and traditional Asian style music. The drops then present themselves with the signature skybreak sound, with the usual fluttering leads, solid hard-hitting percussion, incredible fills, and the in-your bass strong basses. I also want to mention some of the more unique aspects that this drop presents itself with, like the replacement of the snare with a kick in some of the measures, or just the complete removal of percussion, constantly switching things up and keeping the vibe fresh. I think the one that separates this track in a negative way for me though is that I find the melody of the leads doesn't move around as much as I would like it to. This makes it come off as less fulfilling overall compared to the rest of the tracks on the EP. Despite that though, another track that is highlighted by incredible production skill and an interesting idea. And lastly, the EP delivers probably my favorite track off the project, Aurora with Mizu. This track features the best verse off the project, with Mizu's euphoric vocals that have this absolutely bone-chilling melody. This goes in combination with the usual reverberated keys, and even some nice orchestral elements such as the strings that are present. As someone that does listen to a lot of melodic dubstep, I'm very picky when it comes to how producers design their saws, but his sound design here has my absolute full approval. The melodic dubstep has a ton of cool automations and unique drum patterns to keep it from being just the main swell, before heading into some more signature skybreak dubstep with the transition between these two sounds being absolutely spot on. These lead into very similar verses in verse 2, before heading into the second drop, which is just full-on euphoric melodic dubstep. The very synthwave-esque leads in the background with the well-designed saws just create a sound that some listening to this EP may not enjoy, but a very unique and welcome change for the EP overall. Oh. So euphoric, man, come on! And lastly, probably one of the biggest highlights for me here is the outro. The grandiose nature of the orchestral instruments is just really goosebump inducing overall, before finishing off with the piano sequence in what makes an absolutely perfect ending to this EP. When considering the three main criteria, I can't help but feel Lumina sets the bar very high for what listeners can expect from the color-based trend currently underway. Innovation-wise, while the style doesn't vary too much from track to track, Skybreak's signature sound is really unique with the aforementioned mixture of rhythm, melodic dubstep, and jazz elements. Like I said before, this will very likely be an EP that sets the standard for color base as a whole and overall deserves a lot of points for its ingenuity. Sound design wise, again a massive plus here for Skybreak. The sound choices are quality, with the likes of the keys, the chimes, the synths, the fills, and even the percussion. However, I think this EP mostly delivers in terms of how it's executed. The ideas and how they are presented are just absolutely spot on. The amount of euphoria that all of the verses, intros, interludes, and outros bring are some of my favorite in dubstep in a very long time. Not to mention, as an EP experience, all the tracks transition very well together and overall never falls flat when it comes to how things are structured or how the ideas are presented. This will likely have a spot on my top EPs of 2021 and I'm very excited to see where Skybreak and Disciple Records head past this point. And that will be it for me guys. Let me know what your thoughts on this EP are in the comment section down below. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, which will be linked in the description down below. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.